All right, I'm going to start my multiple background uh, image over here. But the first thing I need to do is kind of push. Uh, well, I need to set some margins for my top and bottom just to give it a, a to be able to actually see the space invaders. So let me start by going to article. And I have right now, in order to center it, I have auto for left and right, and I have zero for top and bottom. But I want the top to have, uh, let's say, 4 EM. I'm, this is just, I'm just kind of throwing some values in there while I mess around. I'll tweak them after I set my backgrounds. 4 EM. Um, well, I'll just leave it 4 a.m. both up and down. So that kind of pushes things down a bit. Okay, cool. The other thing I'm going to do, too, is add a little opacity to my uh, article. I'm not actually going to keep the opacity on there in my final design, but just this way I get to see uh, the background, where my space invaders are in the design when I'm actually tweaking um, this padding. Uh, by the way, just a quick side note. Look at this. You notice how opacity actually affected the opacity of the video, too? Pretty slick. Can't do that with Flash now, can you? That's one of uh, many advantages that uh, using native uh, HTML5 video does. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that now. Um, so let's see. So what I'm going to do is set my background. Now, I guess my background in my... In, yeah, my background could fall under my layout for sure. I was thinking of actually making a whole separate section for background because it's going to get a little um, a little hairy, but no, that's that's fine. So I set my background color to purple, um, and now I'm going to set uh, my background these images. What's cool about um, what's cool about background is that there's a shorthand method for defining background. And I, you can see I use a mix of both the shorthand and just a regular, like it's longhand, if you will. Because I kind of find, actually, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, here's the shorthand for stuff. And you could, it gets, you know, it gets pretty involved. And uh, anyway, I kind of, I, I like the idea of using shorthand as much as I can. But when I look at stuff, it ends up getting really confusing in my head. So you're going to see what I'm doing here is a little bit of a mix of shorthand uh, using just the background, uh, the background attribute. And then I'll do other stuff like, um, like sizing and that kind of stuff. I may do a little bit differently. But anyway, so here we go. Um, let me start actually up defining some of these things. We'll start, the first thing I'll do, just working top down, I'll put uh, my, my top image, I'll set and I'll choose it, perfect. And now, if I was just to close this and not do anything more, I'd put a semicolon. But I'm gonna define another image. So I'm gonna use just a comma, and that way it sets it up for another image. And also what I'm gonna do is add a space over here so visually it looks a little bit better. Um, well, let me go ahead and add, you know, URL. And now, what the next thing that's going to be is, um, so I had top, I had bottom, cool, and comma. And the next thing I'm going to do is that barrier that's protecting us from these guys. Cool. All right. So let's see what that's done for us. Okay, well, everything is all up in there, right? I mean, this is a bit much. So um, let's start actually specifying some, a little bit, some positioning and the repeat. So let's look, let's go and find the shorthand that we could, here we go, background shorthand. And here is the syntax. See, I always got to refer to this because I, I'm never good at memorizing it, but there's a couple things that I like to do. I usually do the background image, positioning, and attachment <clears throat> all in one. And then the size, I don't know, I kind of found some some weirdness cross-browser with putting size in this order, especially because it has this little forward slash. Um, anyway, I don't want to tangent off too much, but what I'm going to do in mine is just define the image, the position and the repeat style in my shorthand. So let's see now, see look, this is a link position. Let's see what our positions are. We have left, center, right, top, and bottom. 
and you usually do um, either top see these are actually look at that just these are the ways you could figure out how you're going to center your stuff if you're going to do it with keywords which is what I'm going to do but you could you know you could tweak it with percentages and length but let me just show you what I'm going to do with mine I guess mine my first one will be center and top right that'll be for the invader so let me go center top and then actually if we go back to that repeat let's just make sure what our repeat is it's no repeat right so I'm gonna do center top no repeat alright now what about the, the bottom guys well I do want them yeah I don't want them to repeat either so I'm gonna do center it's not gonna to be top it's gonna to be bottom no repeat cool and then this one my barrier I do want that to repeat right I could leave it at well I don't even need center let me start it at left bottom and then we'll do repeat X and this should bam there we go so these guys are up over here they look a little bit big there we go if at full screen a lot more exposed uh, once I change the opacity these guys this guy isn't going to show through which makes me want to actually push my um, design down a little bit and as I go down they cease to be over here and my content is just my content and now look at this you start seeing the guys come in towards the bottom and this thing's repeating in the x-axis which I'm thinking look at this since I have that space over here maybe I could if I start it to the right yeah cool see just by changing it to the right since I had that one space on the left um, it's allowing this to stay flush to the side okay so really quickly I just added all these things but what I'm gonna do now just to tweak my uh, layout a little bit to see these images a bit more is let me change the margin from four to six and eh, maybe even seven if I dare uh, so so all right seven up top maybe I'll uh, manually assign some stuff seven up top and hell I could even do let's say nine auto for left ten EMs maybe for bottom and auto it's, it's a bit much but let's see what we get uh, okay I think we're gonna need to do a little bit more tweaking to push that up I'm gonna just try something since we're here let me try something extreme for top right bottom all right let me give you 20 look at that kind of pushing it down oh, it's coming in there we go it's not too bad and now if I take out this opacity for now just to see what it's gonna look like uh, yeah okay where did my color background color that got knocked out let's see if we can push that back give me purple baby there we go. I just brought that down because I think when it was up here, I'm not sure if it was a syntax thing or if no, it's uh, that shorthand must be uh, since we're not defining a background color explicitly, uh, that shorthand must be doing something else. So um, just move that background color to the bottom to get it back. And look at that. That already looks pretty cool. Um, and let me see good old Internet Explorer make sure that he wants to play play nice yeah cool